G'day guys, Jake here. Continuing on from our last WDS video, today I'm going to be showing you how to install MDT and the Windows 10 ADK so you can deploy operating systems using MDT instead or in conjunction with WDS over the network. So first we're going to need to download and install the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit. You can download this by just going to Google and type Windows 10 ADK and then just, oh, Bing will work fine, and just clicking on the one at the top, which hopefully will be the right one. Looks like this. Hit the Get ADK for Windows 10 option and select Run. This will download the installer. Open it up. So you can choose to download it for offline installation, but we're just going to download and install to this computer. So all you need to do is just hit next. Then hit next again and accept the license agreement. Then in these things, tick whichever ones you want. I just leave it as default. You're going to need all these default things to do what we're doing. If you need the extra stuff, tick it, then tick the in or hit the install button. So now this will download and install the Windows 10 assessment and deployment kit and then you'll have the deployment workbench. So I'm going to skip this to the finish screen. So now that's finished and you can just close this screen here. So now you're going to need to download and install MDT. So to do that, open up Google and type in MDT 2013 update 2. Make sure you download the latest version so it does support the latest operating system, which at the moment is MDT 2013 update 2, which supports Windows 10 deployments. If you use just the normal version of 2013, you won't be able to deploy Windows 10 properly. So then just click on this link at the top. And once it opens, open it up and hit the big button that says download. Pretty easy to do. Pick the 64-bit or 32-bit versions. I'm going to pick the 64-bit because this is a 64-bit server. And it will support 32 and 64-bit operating systems for deployment. So once that downloads, you will need to run the installer file by... Oh, it's not downloading yet, so we'll save that. That'll take a little bit to download. So I skipped that. I didn't think you want to watch it just ticking down. So now just hit the run button to run the installer and select next, accept the agreement, next. Make sure all of these things will be installed because we're going to need them all. And then select next. I like to join the customer improvement program. It helps make things better. And then it's installed. So there you go, now MDT is actually installed on your server. So all you have to do to open it is go open your start menu and find the deployment workbench. So that'll be in here somewhere. Um, I'll just right click that and pin it to the start menu. Um, down here. Open the deployment workbench. And there you go, an empty deployment workbench, ready to go. So now what we're going to do is create the deployment share. So to create the deployment share, you just right click on the thing that says deployment shares here and say new deployment share. And then you can put your deployment share path. You should use a different drive, but we're just using the C drive for testing. Make sure there's plenty of room in there. Click next and stuff until you get here. And here's where you set your little options that you want. So you can untick these and tick these as you feel necessary. Make sure you read them and configure it to the way you want. We don't want BitLocker at all. So we're just going to untick that tick box. And then we're going to go ahead and click Next. And then you'll get your summary. Read that. Make sure everything's ticked the way you want it, and click Next. So it's going to do its thing and create the deployment share. Once that's created, hit Finish, 
and you'll be able to expand out and see that you've got your deployment share in there. So next, what we're going to need to do is add the Windows 10 operating system. To do this, make sure you have your CD in or your Windows 10 ISO image. Well, it will be a Windows 10 DVD. And expand out operating systems, right click, select import operating system. And then you're going to want to use a full set of source files. And you can use other ones, but we're not going to. So just browse for your CD or ISO file inside of this window and just select the root drive of your CD as a source directory or DVD or ISO image and continue to hit next. Then it's going to go through and just add this source file as a MDT operating system that it can install. So this will take a little second and I'll skip over it. So now that's finished, you can just select finish. So now you have your source file inside of the deployment share ready to be a operating system. So now to create the boot image, we're going to right click on the deployment share and say update deployment share, hit next and it goes through and updates to the deployment share. So what that does is it creates a boot.wim file, which is the same sort of thing that's on your win, um, Windows ISO or DVD, just like we added in the uh, WDS installation last time. So if we open the WDS or Windows Deployment Services console, So now we'll be able to add our boot image. So inside of the boot images, right click, add boot image, browse for the location and you see under the deployment share, there is a folder called boot, which the deployment share should be up there. And you'll see boot and we're going to add the light touch PE 64 bit. So this is a Windows light touch PE environment that's created by MDT ready to boot. You can put this onto a USB stick for booting as well, but we're just using uh, WDS, so we can use PXE boot and install these over the network. So now just to show you that it's worked, I'm going to just start up my VM for test deployment. And if we start it up, you'll notice that we'll be able to boot to PXE and install using this boot.wim file. So you need to hit F12 for the network service boot and it will contact the server and start downloading the boot file. So I've sped this little boot thing up. It actually takes around a minute to boot. Instead, it now takes 12 seconds. So now you can see this is the Windows PE light touch boot environment and it says Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. So if you run the Operating System Deployment Wizard, in here you'll need to type in the username and password that has permissions to use this, which I'm just using the Domain Administrator, but you can create its own user. So now we're here, we pick the one that we've just made, Windows 10 Test, and we can give the computer a name, join it to a domain or a work group, we're going to leave it as work group, you can use the data set, user data settings, but we're not going to do that because it's a fresh install. And then you can pick your locality and your time zone. And we don't want it to capture an image, so hit next. Then in here, you'll get your details and hit begin. So now I've sped this part up because it does take a little while to actually deploy and you'll notice that it all happens from the network and there'll be multiple reboots inside during this and it will also prompt you for a product key but you can skip that if you want or you can put in the product key at that time. So this deployment actually took 12 minutes. As you see I sped it up to 12 seconds for you. And here we are, it's booting into the welcome screen of Windows. It'll prompt you for a network connection. 
And that's it. So now you know how to deploy Windows 10 using MDT. Don't forget like and subscribe. I'm doing more MDT videos. So stay tuned.